And we're back. Okay. So at the start of all this, uh, at the start of each inn, you start gaining quirks. So Gabrielle gained a quirk. She has become slow-handed, which means I think she gets minus two speed? I'm not sure. Final Gamer has gained a quirk. Sneaky. <laughs> Never. The, har the hardest difficulty in Dokapon Kingdom. Steve gained a quirk. Plague Eater Slayer versus Plague Eater 5%. Nice, okay. Gabrielle gained Darkly Curious, prone to investigating the dark arts. Interesting. So that's actually... Sneaky is good. The only problem is that we rely on Final Gamer to do counter hits. So we like it when he draws aggro. So that's not super great. Okay. Now, we got some mastery. And we're going to play cards. And we're going to play cards again. And we're going to check the item. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Oh, that's good. Oh. 20% damage or plus 20% travel heal. Hmm. I might go for the 20% damage. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Okay, so what do I want to level up? Um, I want to level up the headshot because I use that quite a lot. And when it's leveled up, it does really nasty damage. Um... I want to level up Judgments. Judgments good, and we use it a lot. I think I'm going to level up her heal as well. And we use the Burning Attack a lot. Then we're going to upgrade our Stagecoach. So now we get 50% healing received. That's fucking huge. We're also going to equip this Surgery this Table. It's going to help well. us heal. Um, increase stacking for 12 is by 12 for stacking. That's good as well. Any advantage is a good thing. And we're just gonna fix up our stagecoach. And we're gonna select the route. Every road a winding torment. I like the deluge. The deluge Every is really turn. fun. Bent on our destruction. We're also just gonna feed everyone food. Um there's not gonna be too much fire attacks here, so I'm gonna save that item. And I think that's it. You're going to deal so much blight damage if you want to. Good to hear. Good to hear. Fish people are resistant to bleed, but not to blight. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Thank you. Give it to Steve. He has self-burn. Good call. Good call. Okay. Here's where relationships between your party members form. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. I have never gotten a good one. I only get bad ones. These can really fuck up your game. I'll show you how. Oh! While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Kathy and the final gamer are in love! Kathy and the final gamer are in love! It... It's happened! It's finally happened! Not, not that I care, but, but if if I did, that that would that would be cool. Wow, the enemies to lovers storyline is insane. The final simper always has a crush. That no, I, I, I'm following the narrative progression of the game. Okay, oh, but this is interesting, chat. Because the next relationship is between Gabrielle and Kathy. Will it be good? Are we about to enter a Darkest Dungeon 2 polycule? Or are Toxic Yuri about to, uh, about to really uh, earn their name? Let's see how this goes. Oh! Muttered threats. 
All trust is lost. So, in the world of Dokopan Kingdom, Kathy and Gabrielle was canon. In the world of Darkest Dungeon, it's Final Gamer and Kathy. I guess they broke up. God damn. God damn. Um, so now, what this means is whenever I use Duelist Advance, Kathy is going to gain a perk. And same for when she uses Hand of Light. This is really good. Are these the same characters or another incar incarnation? The public needs to know. I think this is maybe uh, this is maybe uh, this is maybe an alternate universe. I think this is a I think this is AU content. I think I think maybe that's what this is. Kathy comfortable with her bisexuality confirmed. I mean that that makes that makes two of us. You put it on the other side of the screen. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in noxious degradation. Oh, and look, there's the head of the horrible cornucopia baby on the back of my wagon. Uh, okay. Myriad options require careful. Let's go to the oasis. So the oasis is a good place to just chill out, which we really need because uh Kathy's about to lose her fucking minds. Okay, how cool are these enemy designs? Steve's resolve is tested. Steve's having a meltdown! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to attack these things because these can transform into bigger enemies and they become a real problem. Um, Duelist advance. Let's attack this thing. And Kathy is say saying how cool I am. Stumbling and stupefied. Um, uh, hmm. I think Kathy needs to heal Steve. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. Okay. The problem with these guys with the hooks is they mess up your party order, and all of a sudden you can't use all the moves you normally use. Uh, they are a real pain. So this guy. So let's use point blank shot. Nice. Um, and let's go with burn. Hopefully that kills that thing. So it has three health and it's going to get three burn damage. We're good. We're good. Uh, I can't see a way to bring down Kathy's stress, which is really bad. I might try and kill this thing with Kathy because that might reduce her stress. No, it didn't work. Continues. Okay, let's see if we can deal that monstrous blight damage. Nice. That's not so bad. So yeah, they push and pull all your people around and it's it's a real pain, but we're not it's not going too bad right now. I probably didn't need to do that. He probably would have bleed bled out. Oh well. Okay, Kathy's still kind of freaking out a little bit, but we're okay. Oh, nice damage. I think he's dead next turn. Nice. That went so well. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Not bad, not bad. Man, I, ca I can't believe that the final gamer and Kathy got together. Not that I care. Not not that not that I I feel any which way about that because I don't. But I oh, just what a turn of events. See chat, sometimes everything just works out. Okay. Okay. Things are going well. Things are going good. Hmm, actually, we'll run away. Run away has a heal. That I think could be useful. Okay. We're going good. We're rolling strong right now. Okay. So the Oasis is good for chilling out. And Kathy really needs to chill out. So she is like freaking out. So we're going to just let her 
We're gonna we're gonna let her go. Okay, this is a little nasty. I think I want to kill him first because I don't want him fucking up my turn order. Nice, good stuff. no health and then I think we can blast this dude out of it it's worth it ah let's, let's go for this instead oh because me and Kathy were in love her healing hand heals me by five I don't know what that means and that is perhaps concerning Isn't that design so fucking cool? With the jellyfish wrapped, like, it's like a s diver's helmet. But look at how, like, its its tendrils are marionetting the dead corpse it's on. It's so rad. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, okay. Going well, going well. I I'm, I have a good feeling about this run. I think we might make it to the boss. This road cannot be walked alone. Hmm. Nice! Okay, we've only the captain left. Um, let's give a little drink to, to Gabrielle, to keep her from freaking out. And let's apply flame. Measure out your violence, then apply it judiciously. And let's do this. And oh man! We are in a really good- this is like one of the best runs I've ever had in this game. Um, we can afford to heal, I think. A calculated generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Nice. We're, we're cleaning up. We're cleaning up. The Dokapon warriors are unstoppable. Down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Field hospital. Um, so here we can get people healed, uh, might just get Kathy healed. We can also get, like, some of their traits removed. Laziness. Yeah, that's not a great one. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Okay, I think that's all we can do here. I love the design for the nun in the field hospital. She's, like... It's basically, her story is like, she helps others, but not herself. So, like, she's always healing other people, but she doesn't realize how fucked up she is. It's cool. It's really cool. And let me just see that Steve still has bottle. He does. Demi-ogre. Um... Kathy, you sure are looking at that? No, a lot. No? That it's... It's... It, that she, okay. Kathy has only eyes for one person in this game, and it's me, which I don't have any serious thoughts on. But, I mean... I could. Um, so, what I've kind of learned with this is that 
you pretty much want to keep that this thing blind, which isn't that hard to do. Nice. Okay, so it's going to load a shot, and it's going to do a load of damage. But what we kind of just want to do is... Um... Agony. So we want to use smoke bombs on it, so it means when it does fire... It's so right now it has a 50% chance of, so boom and it misses everything and gets countered. Oh, that's so satisfying Let's put him out. At last. And yeah, fuck it The fiend's strength dwindles Oh nice critical And let's try kill him. Nice. Messy. But effective. Um and let's use this. So every time she uses this, I get healed by 10%. The final gamer gets healed by 10%, which I, I'd say is pretty good. It's just pretty good. Uh, okay, we got to either kill it or blind it Probably blind Ouch it hit us okay it could have been worse could have been worse and we will heal. Oh, that's so good. And we'll use point blank shot and just kill it outright. Lovely. Resistance will overcome even the greatest of threats. Mm. Our heroes are feeling a lot of stress. Oh, an oasis. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Who's the who's the most stressed out? Um, man, despite the fact that Kathy's in love with me, she keeps getting really stressed out. It's nearly like she's not getting some critical part of who she is. Anyway, no point thinking about it. Okay, this is all going well. This is all going well. What do we got? What do we got? Ah, uh, we can take out these guys. Mm, let's give some of that to Kathy. Keep her chill. The fiend's strength dwindles. Nice. Okay, that thing is incubating, so we need to poke that up soon. She's ready to drop a nuke, and that thing should ne that thing's gonna die next turn. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. And now we're gonna concentrate on this guy. Nice. And then that thing's gonna die. And now it's just this. I am shocked. Uh, this is like anti-stream game where I always do way worse whenever I'm playing on stream. This is actually going great. A 
an inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Not bad. Not bad. Sacred Pier. Uh. The Church of the Change. An inglorious heap of rotting timbers. God, I love the highway, man. The counters. Any RPG that has counters, I'm always like, I need that person in my party. Magic Lottie, the tongue in cheek comments about Kathy's stress had me rolling. Uh, uh, Magic Lottie, I don't, I don't know what you could be referring to. I'm sorry. Um, and that's them taken care of. And yeah, let's use this. Oh, that's so good. The enemy weakens and wanes. Malaise, measured and steady. Not gonna lie, you really don't want to go into this area's boss with this composition. Um, are you talking about uh, Leviathan? Because I think you're right. Leviathan fucked me up before, and I don't love my chances against it. I think he's gonna die. He will. Let's stack some bleed on this guy. Um, let's drop a nuke on this thing. Because that's going to transform soon. Um, let's light this thing. Oh dear. Um, okay. No, we... Things are okay. Things are okay. There's no nothing's too wrong. The smallest variable can make all the difference. I should have concentrated on that thing sooner. That is my fault. Uh, Swo 500 Cal. Thank you for the subscription. Let's get a little healing going. Grenade. Oh, nearly dead. Uh, let's go for a heal. Um, let's heal. There we go. The work continues. Um, I think we're going to escape. I don't think that's worth another fight. Recognize your disadvantage and accept uh, Lemonade Slug, that's such a good name. Just want to say your latest video inspired me to work on my horror novel. Thank you. Um, go for it. Go write your cool horror novel. Make it real spooky. Uh, if I was going to write a horror novel, what I would do is I would make it... Um, I, would, I would make it scary. I, I would make it one of them real... One of those uh, spooky horror... Oh, God. Horror books. And... Uh, you know, people would read it and they just fucking lose their minds because it's so horrifying. That's that's what I do. So if you want to steal that idea, go for it. Uh, you'll need one trophy to unlock the boss fight, so you don't actually need to fight other bosses. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay. Um, do you guys want to see? I guess we gotta do Kathy, right? We gotta see Kathy's backstory. Divine, inter four. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Now sometimes it's just text, and I'm hoping we get a gameplay section. Yes. Oh what? Vindication. A golden ray beamed affirmation into the stagnant blackness of the dungeon. 
No divine punishment awaited her. It was her captors who had strayed from the light. So Kathy's breaking out of a dungeon. Cell seven. Hmm. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna armor first. This must have been what happened, Kathy, right before Dokapon Kingdom. Not doing much damage on this dude. The torture delights in pain, including his own. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna brace. Okay, um, I am not doing much damage to this dude. So I've moved backwards and I've gained a bunch of buffs, which I'm meant to be doing. So I guess it's like he's chasing me through the dungeon. Oh, <gasps> judgment! Oh, cool. So now do I need to move over here? A lot of damage. Oh shit, I'm taking way too much damage. Damn it. Only when we acknowledge the past can we be free from That was a tough one. That was pretty tough. And uh, watchtower. Let's go for watchtower. Brace up. There is danger on this path. Oh weird. Steve, you little coward! You haven't learned anything! Um, okay, let's just go ham here. Uh, so this is going well, but if we in a situ end up in a situation where we're, like, facing four captains, we're fucked. But luckily, that doesn't seem to be happening. Okay, they're all getting really defensive so that they can hatch... Don't need to heal right now. The fiend's strength dwindles. Mm, I really want to kill these things as quickly as possible because they suck. That thing's dead. Oh, 
Oh no. Kathy, my love, no! Uh mm. Yeah, this this is bad. Um 35 damage? Oh, that worked out really well. So that thing's dead, right? Okay, so Kathy, maybe we can drop a nuke on this guy. Nice, he's down. Kathy's on death's door. Kathy's on death's door and an enemy has a free attack. Okay. We've got to heal Kathy. Uh, get her back. There we go. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, he's still alive. There we go. Okay. One enemy left. We're okay. Things got a little shaky there for a second, but we're not too bad. Point blank shot should do it. Yes. John is simping for Kathy. I am not and never have. What you can and be off once more. Watch Terror, so this lets us see everything ahead. Hmm. Okay. Probably going straight is the best option. Let me uh, do a little inventory check here. Round. I guess we can equip it. Okay, that's good. Um, this is from I don't TS. Um, hi John, gonna. Yep, right now before college, I was dead set about doing uh, concept art, practicing five plus hours daily, and um, all that when I get to college. I drifted from my objective for X reason, graduated two years ago, and it's been feeling um, lost for the past year, not knowing what to do. Uh, as a creative person stuck on, on corporate, during college I learned 3D, Margraf, sorry, I don't know what that is, and editing. I also love to write 100% want to do art, maybe concept. It's also an adult, I need to make money, lol. Career advice? Um, so I would think like when you're, when you're in your early 20s, I would be really careful about not going for jobs that are comfortable. Like obviously you gotta make a living and you gotta make ends meet, but you don't know how like young you are out of college. You don't know how you have more energy right now than you'll ever have in your life. And with that, I think people should make more mistakes and take bigger, wilder swings. And so, like, if you have a, like, you know, especially a corporate job, you are going to advance in that. And, like, if career advancement is your goal, maybe that's the place for you. But if you really, like, if you're stinging and you want to be doing, like, the character design stuff, I would say... You should be putting like an you should be putting a little bit of time every day into doing character work. And like, you know, it, it doesn't have to be five hours. Like five hours a day sounds insane. Um I wouldn't advise you put that much in. But I think if you keep working at it every day and keep focused on what you actually want to do and keep looking at your corporate job as like this is what kind of makes end meet, ends meet right now, but this is not what I want to be doing, and keep focused on that and keep looking for opportunities. Anyone I know who's end up, ended up with, like, a cool, interesting job, it always comes from, like, not just, like, taking chances, but from being open to chances. Recognizing when something's an opportunity and going for it. So, like, don't worry about it. Like, I was 29 
when I started my YouTube channel. 20 fucking 9. You're gonna be fine. You're, you're, you're grand. And I, I'm saying that to all the college grads in the chat. Like, just don't worry about it so much. Just follow what feels good and follow what makes you excited. That would be my advice. Shrine of Reflection. Is your coach prepared for the upcoming obstruction? Frenzied enemies, that's no good. Oh, that's actually to our advantage. Oh, the final gamer! Can't keep him down! Nice, okay. Gabriella drink. Um, she's been through a lot this playthrough. Uh, her girlfriend got with someone else. That's pretty fucked up. But, you know, we'll see. Actually going to use this for the heal. From Modern Chow, yeah, practice, dedication, hard work, far outstrips raw talent. It depends, but in most cases I have ever encountered, absolutely. The most talented people I know are just people who work a lot. But when I say work, I don't really mean like, you know, they sit down and they grind it out. I mean people who have found a way to enjoy work to the point that it just becomes a part of them. If you're miserable practicing, something might be going wrong. Like, um... You might actually be pursuing something you don't want. I've given this example so many times on these streams, so apologies if it's kind of gets boring. But um, I always thought I wanted to be an illustrator. The problem was I didn't... Like, I do love illustration, I just don't want to do it every day. Or, or like... And that created, like, a big problem for me because, like, I was trying to draw every day. I was trying to, like, learn as much as I can. But I didn't have a huge degree of talent for it, and because of that, I'd get upset at it. You know, like, I'd, I'd get sad that I wasn't better at drawing, and it really caused me a lot of anxiety, which meant I didn't draw as much as I should have. Um, but any illustrator I know now, like, they just, they love drawing. They always love drawing, and it's now, it's just something they kind of come to naturally. And so what I'd say, like, the best career advice I could give anyone in chat, go towards the things that you do naturally. Go towards the things that are the most comfortable to you. Um, like, I remember long before I ever did a YouTube video, I really wanted to explain to Michelle why I loved Silent Hill so much. And so I... I had this thought that I, like, I want to do, like, a, a PowerPoint presentation on why Silent Hill is so cool and show it to her, you know? This was years before YouTube even existed. And so, when eventually my career became like, um, you know, making videos about shit I think is interesting, it made sense. Like, it, it, it worked because I loved doing it. And so, I, um, I think that's how you could approach it. What's the shit you want to do all the time? Like, what is the shit you can't stop thinking about and how can you turn that into a career? Serious, serious bitch on. 
Um, oh snap, I'm guessing you're enjoying Darkest Dungeon 2. I am. It's really cool. Um, from Sushinko, uh, illustrator here. The world is such a wild place and, uh, to have a creative career. Be open and flexible and don't say no to what seems like left turns for your goals. Yeah, I would agree with that as well. I think with like an oppor when an opportunity comes along, even if it's not 100% what you're looking for, if it's different and it's new, even if it doesn't work out and you do it and you decide it's not for you, you learn a lot, you know? I learned so much working for an e-learning company, doing graphic design for shit I could not care less about, but I learned a lot about like presenting and like how to communicate information. Let's try Kathy again. Chapter 4. Divine Intervention. Um, Magic Lottie, now I want to talk about more of my writing ideas, but it would derail topics because I don't think people want to hear about Eldritch Space Monster and Retrofuturism Robot Yuri. Um, I don't think I don't think you're going to find a way to fit that in the Twitch chat, but I know you're on the Discord and there is a, there is a writing channel on the Discord, Lottie. No divine punishment awaited her. It was her captors who had strayed from the light. Okay, so now we're going to move straight to this thing. And now we're going to use this and boom. So, Kathy is kicking this dude's ass, and he's getting some weird pleasure out of it. And that's so fucking strange. My favorite thing to do is tabletop or PG storytelling, but it's exhausting for me um, to socialize. For me to socialize and be creative all the time. Instead, I've tried to make a career out of work I find so boring that I could multitask or consume to find interesting. I get that. I do get that. I think I've talked about this before. Sometimes I have the coffee shop fantasy, where I uh, <laughs> delete my YouTube channel and go work in a coffee shop. I know. I know that people who work in coffee shops have to work very hard. I know that job sometimes sucks. But sometimes I think about, well, what if, what if I had a job that just didn't drain me in any way? Wouldn't that be cool? God damn. Okay, we're going to hit him with a Mega Blast now. Oh! Radiant with revelation, she stormed the stairs to the cloisters. I don't know what that does, but let's see. Like, what I will say is that if you are going for a job you love, you are going to feel more pain. Like, you are going to, um, like, I love this job so much, I wouldn't give it up for anything. It drives me fucking insane. And those two things are a necessary part of it, I think. Like, you can't have one without the other. Let's check the map here. Okay, I think we've got to take the resistance encounter. The root will exact the toll on wheel and axle both. Hold fast. Uh, 
and you bullied me into posting the idea to, ser to and server John and you must suffer with me. I don't know. You have to look at Twitter for 10 seconds. Uh, no deal. No fucking deal at all. Ha! <laughs> oh shit. We've been having good luck against these guys. I think we can take them. fine. So it's gonna inflict three damage, he's dead. Cool. Um... Pop Tart Kitty, not all of us have a chance to work at jobs we would like or have passion for. And that's valid. Some of us have to work to survive, and that's a big deal, too. Please just always be kind to anyone doing their job. There is no reason we are following what they have to. Yep, couldn't agree more. Okay, I think those two are dead next turn, which is a nice... That's nice. I like that. Um, hmm. Fuck, okay. I guess we'll do this. So satisfying every time. So he's dead next turn, so let's go for this guy. And that should be it. Nice. Greater threats await those who dare. Weapons serrated. Oh, cool. Okay, we might add that to uh Highway man. Final the gamer. Abates. Um, Seraphine. Honestly, I loved cooking. Then I started working in food service, so I took those skills of field, which I have no interest, and leave my passion for the time and it, that belongs to me. See, that's the thing. Like, if you get into like illustration or you get into drawing or like il or like any kind of creative thing where you have to do it, it's not when it's, when you're working, it's not yours anymore, and that can fucking suck as well, you know. Like, I've known so many animators who will get a job in animation and never crack a sketchbook again. So I do think like you, you always like if you want bigger stuff out of life, you always got to be kind of keeping an eye on it. But I also think as well, oh shit, okay, that's not good. But I kind of, like, I do agree with Pop-Tart Kitty. If you just need a job to survive, that is, that's fucking valid, you know? Like, go for it, because it is, it is hard to keep your head up out there. And I say that as someone who's done, like, well financially, and someone who has been broke as fuck, you know? Okay, let's take this thing out as quick as we can. Or, no, we're going to pull this thing. Yes! So this thing is such a pain in the ass if it gets going. It'll basically buff this guy so we can't kill him. 
Um, and we don't want that. Bone weaving, here we go. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. But I think we can work with it. Okay, so it's going to take five damage next turn. And it's already dead. That's awesome. So let's concentrate on this thing. Oh, I should have attacked them. That was a mistake. Oh, oh, they do so much damage. I need to keep them blind. Okay, this is going not bad. That thing is still not dead. Nice, okay. I think that thing's gonna die soon. It's got so much damage stacked on it. It's just gonna take 15 damage now. So hopefully, armor break, and I don't think it's surviving its own turn. But also, our girl Cappy has the nuke saved up. She drops it, aerial bombardment, and now it takes the stat down. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, that was satisfying. Greater threats await those who dare. Oh shit. Oh, we've just got some good stuff. The loathing abates. Rated. So let's see here. We're going to switch these out and we are... Highwayman, the final gamer, is now doing 50% damage. But speaking on that, people told me to get a job in baking, but the problem is it was a fun hobby for me and I couldn't see myself doing it every day. So many people for some reason couldn't understand. I just wanted to be a fun little thing for me. Yeah, that's like, that's, that's, it's really good that you recognize that about it because like that means that shit's for you, you know? And sometimes like you get it, you get to do more of your shit for other people. But if it's a daily grind, like if they're paying you, that means it's work. That means you have to do it. And it's like, it's like that phrase, you know, um, if you do something you love, you will there never work another day in your life. I actually disagree with that. I think it's if you do something you love, you will work every day for the rest of your life. Because you never stop thinking about it. Uh, Kathy's a field surgeon. Field surgeon. We're getting all good. Oh no, Kathy has diphtheria. When stress damaged, one or two damage, that's no good. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Mm. Learn what can be taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. What do we want to learn? That's actually pretty good. That's two stacks of blindness. Let's go for that. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Hmm. Okay, let's go for the tangle. So, okay, someone in the chat was saying that we can actually just go straight to the boss now. Is that right?
Okay, let's let Kathy and Gabrielle have a drink together. Okay, their relationship's healing a little bit. You don't have you you have to finish the areas, but you do have to finish the bosses. Okay. Every Let's... road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. Okay. Gabrielle and Steve resentful. Resentment. The slowest okay, that's not too bad. Gabrielle and Kathy suspicious. Man, the tension between those two. Okay, those are not the worst debuffs in the world. We're okay. War rewards only resignation. Oh man, this is a this is a long one. We'll get to the end of this one. Uh, 14 Simba, loving the versus wolf stuff. You and Wooly have such great chemistry. Thank you. Um, yeah. I... It has always been weirdly easy to just make anything with Wooly. I think we just... We work together well, and it's such a pleasure. Jagged Bubbles, thank you for the subscription. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it has so much health. Uh. Uh. You're dead. Are you serious? No fucking way. It dodged? Like, what, what, what is going on? It's mixed up the order of my party! Okay, what are these? 14 health. That's not a lot of health. And I just can't do any because I'm out of position. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um This road cannot be walked alone. Okay, that's that's a bit better. Okay, just gotta kill these little fellas. Ah, uh, this is bad. Oh! Oh, it hits like a motherfucker. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. It doesn't like being set on fire. Um, I want to inflict a little help, impeccably timed. I think I need to concentrate on healing because it's just fucking up everything. Let's uh, keep setting this son of a bitch on fire. Um, okay, let's try this. So, because we can set that. Yes! That worked out really well. Okay, okay, this isn't so. Oh, it's fucked us up again. Um, Kathy's about to lose her. Okay, everyone's about to start freaking out. Catherine's resolve is tested. No! No, baby! No! Oh, that's bad. A steady subtraction. An invariable result. I think we just gotta keep going for this thing. Um, I think those other little things are just gonna keep spawning back. 
Okay, okay, we're de we are dealing damage, but it keeps shooting those things out. Um... This wound, at least, has been tended to. Uh... The enemy weakens and wanes. Hmm. Nice. Okay, we've got it down to half nearly. This isn't the worst. This could be going worse. Oh! Gabrielle's at that store. Gabrielle's resolve is tested. She's freaking out! Oh god! Um. Okay. One hit, Gabrielle's dead. Oh, this is scary. Damn it, tried to drag it forward, it didn't work. Oh! Gabrielle has died! This is incredibly bad. Extinguished at last. Okay, we can still win. Nice. Okay. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Um, we're gonna heal. Okay, okay, uh, the final gamer is about to freak out as Resolve is tested. RESOLUTE! YES! That might be the turning point of this entire fight. Okay, we can- we now have enough to drop a nuke. Uh, we might actually do this. Oh, Gabrielle's looking weak. Incremental. Um. Deadly all the same. Okay, one or two more hits and it's dead. <gasps> Gabrielle's up front. She's on death's door. She's poisoned. This is fucking bad uh or no Kathy Kathy is she's going down um oh wait no we can we can heal we can heal oh oh god she's on death's door again no Kathy please be resolute no that's really bad if something else targets her, she's in trouble. No! No! Some total of violent equation. Unfavorably rounded down. Finally! A universe where we get to be together! And she dies! Oh! Discard that chat, discard that last comment, I was talking about something else. And um, I was talking about something that happened to me today, don't worry about it. Uh, can we still win? Oh, it's armor's broken! Oh god. Oh shit. This might do it, this might do it! Oh, not quite, but it might die on its turn! Steve resolve- No, Steve! You're all I have left! Don't freak out! Yes! But I still have to escape? I guess I have to kill this thing. I mean, I can do that. Oh! <gasps> 
Death's door. This little thing is not gonna kill us. Oh, it's killing us! Steve's on death's door. Steve, my apprentice, no! A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. <gasps> An unforeseen And only the final gamer is left! A simple variable. Easily resolved. Um, I have the bones of my fallen friends. Okay, I made it. That's how quickly this game can go wrong. The loathing of baits. Uh, so I need to basically get to the end. Of this, um, without having another fight, I am fucked. Uh, I am so dead. Um, I mean, chat, it's not over, but it's it's pretty close. As Highwayman, we still do massive damage, but. I I don't know. Uh, the final gamer rides alone. What's that? What's that? No! Maybe if they're not tough. Oh god. So here's our only chance, okay? I have to keep going insane and keep getting resolute options. That's the only way this can work. Yeah, I'm dead. I am so dead. No, this ain't happening. This is not I guess the final gamer over. isn't gaming enough. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, now if I can be resolute, I've already been. Oh no. Uh, Zbay, I I don't know about that subscription timing, my fan friend. Thank you, Pemo Pen, for the subscription. Inexorable. Each milestone makes the next road just a little easier. I mean, chat, we had a hell of a run. You know, that, that, that wasn't half bad now. That wasn't half bad. So, yeah. Same time next week. I have no idea what kind of stream we'll be doing next week. It, I will be in my new house, which I cannot tell you how fucking weird that is. But, um, yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. I, I really liked playing, uh, I really liked playing Darkest Dungeon. Um, we're going to try a couple of games over this next while. But, or, it was fun. But, um, yeah, chat, listen, thanks so much to everyone for dropping by, and, yeah, look, I'll see you next time.